all are fooling around with the interns, the pubic actors telling this. So what we have coming up next is Mr. Pete on the Phil Donahue Show. What an incredible experience that was. I'm not going to talk a lot about it because I've got stuff to say after they run the clip about the Drake Hotel, the only Swiss hotel on Park Avenue. So run the clip of me, Mr. Pete, and of course, what's your name? Who does that restaurant review show? What's your name, Karen, uh, Karen Sackland? Karen Stricknine? Well, you know, she does that, that restaurant review show here on public access television. Well, I, I submitted her name, and they took her along with me, so she and I flew together out to New York. Well, Mr. Pete, with Phil Donahue, I accept this award one more time. I'm just too good to be true, yeah. So, if you don't have a television program, you are doing something wrong. <laughs> um, Peter Chicanos joins us, uh, commonly known as Mr. Pete. You're the host of Take a Break with Mr. Pete. Cable access, Los Angeles, California. You're a hit, Pete. I am the king. The I the king of public access television. Uh, <laughs> now, you have a desk and a couch, and huh? I built my desk out of scrap lumber from the dumpster of Tower Video off of Sunset Boulevard. Ah. And uh, how did how'd you do this? You just said, I want to be a talk show host in this area? Well, I've, uh, since I was just this tall, so I've been watching you and other hosts on the, uh, on the air. Thank you. I go back to Jack Parr and, and Merv Griffin, who I just recently met, and Dick Cavett. And I had nothing going in my life whatsoever. I was a, I worked in a jail for five years as a bail clerk, bails and fines, warrants and fugitives. My major in college was criminology. I moved to Los Angeles to sing. I sang for about five years with some big stars in Tahoe and Reno. And I thought to myself, I'll be a singer. I wasn't a singer. I lost the direction of my life. I was doing absolutely nothing. And I started watching Karen Salkin next to me on uh, TV in Los Angeles. And I put together a show. And in... In three months, George Carlin called me, Flip Wilson called me, the Dick Clark people called me. Really? Yeah. Now, what do you mean you put together a show? You walk in with your couch, you say, I, I want to be on this. <laughs> well, at first I didn't have a couch, I had a chair. And I sat, and for a half an hour, I looked into the camera, and I spoke, and I found out I didn't make a fool out of myself. And then as everything progressed, I built the deck, I started having guests, people started really? calling me, and all of a sudden, I'm like this, people recognize me everywhere. It's amazing. That's incredible. And it takes no talent at all. Why did you oh, call me? I don't <laughs> Mr. Pete, break with Mr. Pete. Mr. Pete. 
He is hot, hot, hot. Mr. Peace. He is cool, cool, cool. Coolie, coolie, hot, coolie, coolie, hot. Coolie, coolie, hot, coolie, coolie, hot. Maggie is a slut, coolie, coolie, hot. Mr. Pete is not coolie, coolie, hot. Pete Billy Oak don't buy the doctor shoe. Who? 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 Mr. Pete. That's who. Mr. Pete. Mr. Perfect. 